Last month was April and we made $22,871 and the month prior we made $17,988 using AI agents with just a few add-ons. And look, this is the trend of AI agents over the past couple years. So business owners know they need this and I will show you how to sign clients on easily. And I will even show you how to set up these AI agents in 15 minutes so you can start making money now, even if you have zero knowledge or zero technical experience. And look, this is a brand new business. I started this live on YouTube just as an experiment and it worked so well that I ended up hiring employees to run the whole thing for me. Look, most people trying to make money with AI are just doing it completely wrong. They spend months trying to build this perfect website with the perfect headlines and tags and different features that they can showcase. Or they spend months trying to learn how to code or master some kind of technical skill and become this AI expert. But look, none of this matters if you cannot find a single client who is willing to pay you and is happy to do so. The secret to making thousands of dollars is not what you sell. It is who you actually sell it to and what problems you can actually solve for them. If you find customers with expensive problems, they will be happy to pay you for expensive solutions. So now you're wondering, great, but how do I find these clients? Look, the best ones that I have seen are local business owners. They are the easiest CEOs to get a hold of. Their information is everywhere online. I'm gonna show you exactly how to find that. Look, first things first, I went to chat GPT and I said, give me a list of local business owners that charge high ticket prices that also do a large volume of customers. And it gave me a bunch of niches. It gave me a bunch of industries that I can reach out to. And honestly, all of these are good. Right here, pricing $500 to 5000 per visit. So if you can get them one person through the door, that's how much money they are going to make. Plastic surgeons, five to $20,000. Do you think if you can help a plastic surgeon save one customer per month and they make an extra $10,000, $15,000 on that person, they'd be happy to pay you thousands? Of course, we have high-end auto shops, wedding, event venues, home remodelers, private specialty clinics like chiropractors, testosterone, hormone clinics. These are some industries that most people don't target. Personally, I like the home services space. So people like home remodelers, kitchen and bath. I like landscaping companies. And as you can see for both of them, the projects range from $10,000 to $100,000 per project. Landscapers, $5,000 to also $100,000 if you're doing luxury or if they're doing any sort of commercial work. Now, how do you actually reach out to them? I like this tool. It's called Try Out Scraper. So since we're talking about landscaping, let's go ahead and find one right here. You can choose any country that you want. I'm going to choose the US. Now, let's say they are in an area. I'm going to just target Las Vegas, but you can choose any big city in the US. Choose Miami. You can choose any city in Utah, like Salt Lake City. Anyone works as long as there is a bunch of business owners in that space. Now, you can uncheck all these boxes. We don't need to spend more credits. And if I find a better tool, I'll also link that up as well. But now you're going to click get data. And what it's going to do is it's going to find every single landscaper in Las Vegas. And the best part is this is the cheapest tool that I found. It is going to be $9 to literally download all of their information. I'm talking names, emails, phone numbers, social media profiles, everything you need to actually get a hold of them. Now, I did want to compare that to a free tool like ChatGPT. And I said, build me a list in Las Vegas, phone numbers, emails, names of the owner, maybe even cell numbers if you have them. It did generate some, but it only got me about 10 businesses. So it's not ideal. If you want thousands and thousands of businesses, I would still head over to the tool I just mentioned. Now I even asked, how can I actually sell them AI agent services? Because I was curious what GPT would find. So step one is understanding their pain points. Missed calls equals lost leads, no shows, wasted time on uh, repetitive questions, pricing timelines, poor follow-up, cold leads, low online reputation. Look, we can solve all of this using AI. You want to position AI as the solution. So auto respond to leads, book appointments, follow up with quotes. And I'm going to show you how to build and set up all this to solve these problems. The only thing I didn't like about this GPT prompt is this message. 
This is absolutely terrible. This is what everyone is saying. We install it 24-7, AI assistant on your website, social media. Dude, they're going to freaking hang up on you. This is a terrible message. This is what everyone sends, and they ignore all of these. I'm going to give you a better one. This one they put under step four is a little bit better, but still it's too long, and it goes a little bit too far in depth. So target outreach plan, email call, text, triple touch. This is a good strategy, I will say. You just have to change what you're actually saying. Facebook, Instagram DMs, lead scraper, create a one-minute loom video. This is a terrible strategy. Contractors landscapers, home remodeling, do not watch videos. If they see a link to anything they're not familiar with, they will think you are trying to scam them and they will never click that freaking link. Follow up three to five times over the next seven to 10 days. This I do agree with. So here we have the pain points. And I also found this crazy stat. According to research, 93% of consumers use reviews to decide which business to work with. This is a massive opportunity for you to step in and solve these expensive problems. Look, last time you shopped online, what did you do? You found the product with the best reviews. Think about last time you bought something on Amazon. You want to know that other people love this product. And a lot of local businesses completely miss out on this. So look, if you are doing any kind of emails or you're doing any sort of cold DMs on social media, Facebook, Instagram, you want to use a message like this. Hey, I built you an AI employee that can book three to five new appointments in the next few days want to test it. So what we're doing is we are giving value up front. Hey, look, I already built this thing. Do you want to test it? This strategy works so much better because we are no longer saying, hey, I can build you this AI employee is the works for you 24 seven and responds. No, we are saying I already built it. You want to see it? And again, I'm going to show you how to set this up. We're not building anything up front. The people that respond to this message, I'll show you how to set up a quick bot that you can show them on Zoom and they can just get a live test of how it works, which also makes selling the product extremely easy. You don't have to be an expert salesperson. Just show them what you have. Hey, do you think this would book you more appointments? Hey, do you think if we had this in your business and automatically responded to every single person that comes in, would that make you more sales? Yes or yes. By the way, if you are doing cold calling, I would use this script right here. I'll zoom in for you. This works extremely well. I have a, another video on my channel that's part of that series of me doing this live where I'm literally calling people and booking appointments. In like an hour and a half, I was able to book seven meetings with people that were interested in AI agent services. So I know that this works. So let's look at how we're going to set this up for everyone. The best tool I have seen for AI agents that is the simplest and the cheapest tool because you're allowed to have unlimited clients is going to be gofreetrial.com. Now, once you make an account, you head over to Launchpad and you just integrate the client's account. So go in here, then they hit connect on the Facebook CRM. They can also link up their messenger. If you're outside the US and your clients use WhatsApp, then you can connect that right here. They can also click payments if you could do Stripe and all that, but we're not gonna go in depth into that. Now you're gonna head over to where it says AI agents, and this is where the magic happens. What I recommend you do is the first thing you set up is going to be the conversation AI. And so what that's going to do is it's going to create an AI bot that will automatically message anyone that comes into their business. Meaning, if someone fills out a contact form on their website, on this landscaping website, on this cosmetic surgeon's website, the AI will have a conversation with that person and automatically nurture them and book the clients an appointment. So that person no longer needs to wait hours and hours and sometimes days for someone to actually get back to them and call them. And look, what happens a lot of times is someone from the office calls that person that submitted a phone number, but they're at work. So they don't pick up and then nothing happens. They try to follow up again, but they never actually get that appointment. So this solves that problem and it starts a conversation. If you want everything imported into your account and just copy and paste everything that we've built with a click, you can now do that. It's working like crazy, not just for me, but we've proven that this works for people with all kinds of experience levels and backgrounds. In fact, Go High Level themselves rated us the number one course 
because of the results that we get from people and the support that we give. I'm gonna show you A to Z how to get clients, deliver results, grow your business, and then even hire employees to run it all for you. I'll even talk to you on Zoom and answer questions to make sure that you succeed. If you want all this for free, go to laptopceo.com or check the link in the description. Also, what you wanna do is set up a live chat bot on the bottom of the person's website like this. As you can see, it says, hey there, have a question, text us here. They're going to click that and now the AI will answer any questions they have right on the person's website and even book the appointment. I'm going to show you a live conversation and then I'm going to show you how to actually get this set up. So this person visited our client's website, interested in getting a quote on a remodel, looking to have a fiberglass bath shower combo removed, have a walk-in shower installed, boom, we're located here. Now this is in blue. This is the AI responding to that person. Hey there, we're definitely interested. Let's schedule a consultation to discuss this. We are flexible date and time. Boom, the AI read the client's calendar and gave them some times that they can pick. Monday at 10 a.m. works. Great, I'll book for Monday. Could you please provide your full name? Boom, now that person gave us their full name, their address, even their cell phone number. I'm going to have to blur some of this because this is obviously sensitive data. Thanks. Can I get your email address? That's the last thing we needed email address. Now we got the email address right here and it says appointment details updated. Now the AI is even following up. Hey, it's confirmed. Your initial phone call consultation has been scheduled and reserved. So the client never talked to this person and now we have an appointment booked. So now this lead that was potentially going to fill out a contact form and just sit in their email inbox is now a booked appointment on that person's calendar. Here's the first thing you would do. Go to conversation AI, boom, create your first conversation AI agent. As you can see, I have a bunch, but what you do is choose one that is under appointment booking. Then you just hit continue. You can name the employee anything you want. You want to suggest autopilot right here. Now, what I like doing is SMS chat widget right here. You can do live chat and even WhatsApp if your clients use that. Most of our clients are in the US, so we don't need that. Then you put in the business name right here and then you hit save at the bottom. Now that it's created, this is all you have to do. Go under bot training and take the client's website and just paste it in here. I took a random URL online. I have no idea who this company is, but what we did is we just clicked get data and all it's doing is you can see all URLs in this domain. So it's gonna take your client's entire website, scan every single page, homepage, about us, all the services and absolutely everything. And if they don't have a website, here's what you can do. You can go to uploaded links right here. You can have your client type up a couple paragraphs about what they do, and then you can go to ChatGPT and tell it to expand on all the services. And then you can take that Google document and just upload it inside here to train the actual bot on exactly what it's going to do. So let's go ahead and hit save. And then we're gonna go to bot goals. And this is gonna be very important. You wanna check off appointment booking right here. You're gonna pick the calendar you want it to book on, and then you're gonna pause bot responses after booking, and then you can hit save. And now the whole thing is done. Now to actually get this on a website, you go to sites right here, you hit chat widget right here, and you just hit new chat, and then you click live chat, and it's going to automatically create the entire live chat as you can see right here. You can customize it fully under customization, styles, chat window, all that, and then you hit save. And what you do is you hit get codes. For example, if they already have a website, you just take this code, you just click copy, and you paste it on their website, and now it's going to appear everywhere on that site. You can also build an AI website inside here. As you can see, we have a websites tab, and A, we have a bunch of templates you can use and just set up for them, use AI to build the entire thing. But for the people that have something, still very easy to set up. Now let's talk about AI calling. Look, you can have AI answer phone calls for them. Let me play you a quick clip on how exactly that sounds. Hey, you have reached ABC Plumbing. How can I help you today? Yeah, I'm having a little bit of an emergency. My toilet is clogged and there's everywhere. Oh no, that sounds like a real mess. Let's get this sorted out for you. Can I start by getting your name, please? Boom, there it is. Now, huge suggestion here on the AI voice bot. I do not recommend you completely replace them, okay? If the business owner can answer the phone or they have a front desk and they can answer the phone, that's always going to be much better than the AI answering. Where the AI voice comes into play is when it goes to voicemail. So imagine you call a landscaping company. They're busy, right? They're cutting grass. Maybe the front desk person is speaking to someone else and it goes to voicemail. You may or may not leave a voicemail. If you need services immediately, let's say it's roofing. 
right? And your leak is roofing right now. If it goes to voicemail, you're going to call the next person. You're not going to sit there, leave a voicemail, and then wait for someone to call you back. Because a lot of times it takes too long for that business owner. So now, if they don't pick up the phone, the AI answers, and it takes that call for them, and it even books the appointment. This is the best use that I have found. Meaning after hours, the AI voice can now take over. So instead of at 10 p.m. at night when someone has a second and it calls this business and then just goes to voicemail and then they just try to get back to them, the AI is now booking appointments 24 seven. And this is how you set it up. Go under voice AI, hit create your first voice AI agent. You can hit create agent right here. And then you can give it a name. You can type in the client's business name. You can choose and play around with all these different voices. Do inbound calls. So outbound calls is also coming soon. This is going to be very exciting. But let's go ahead and hit next on that. We want to collect a name and email. You could do address. Typically, we don't check this off. We just book the appointment with the name and email. And then I have that client's front desk call that person to get that address. You want to choose existing knowledge base right here. And then this is going to pull that data that we put in from that website. So let's go ahead and hit next right here and let's keep moving. And now you have the entire bot bill. All you have to do is just choose the phone number right here and enable this right here. Enable AI agent as a backup to the phone number slash number pool. So what you do is you go to the client's website and just put this new phone number that forwards directly to them. I've never had a problem with this. And before you even set this up for clients, you can test the agent right here. So you select the phone number, you type in the client's number right here and it says, call me. And then the client could play around with the AI bot. This is what I mean by I already built you an AI bot that we talked talked about during our outreach message. So all you have to do is just say this message, build this out one time for like a sample client. Here's an example. If I have a remodeling sample website that I did, I can on the Zoom call say, hey, this is what I built for you. This is a sample site. Hey, why don't you call this number and just test it? Hey, why don't you try this live chat right here and just test it? So you set it up on your own account and you let the clients play with it. After they get onboarded, you can set it up with their business completely. I've also seen people like actually set up these agents for the clients live on the call because again, it's three clicks. It's really, really quick. So as they're talking, you can just put in their website, hit train, and then ask them to call that number. And then they'll be impressed at how much the AI already knows. So as you can see, we have solved the first three things already. Missed calls, lost leads. We're going to have the AI bot respond. No shows, unconfirmed appointments. The AI automatically confirms via text, via SMS, and email. Wasted time on repetitive questions. We have the live chat bot on the website answering all these questions. Now, low online reputation due to lack of reviews. This leads to the last one. In the exact same software right here, you go under reputation, you hit settings, and you hit auto responses under reviews AI. Okay. So here's what happens. A lot of businesses never ask for reviews. So we can set up one, an automation that automatically texts and emails people they've already served a reviews link. And not to mention, after someone leaves a review, the AI will automatically go in and respond to that person. Hey, John, it was so great serving you, right? Let's say John is their customer and they left him a five-star rating. The next thing you can do is have a reviews QR code right here. Very easy to do. You just hit QR code and then it's done because you integrated their whole business under Launchpad. Now you give them that QR code and just tell them to print it out or tell them to put it on a little business card and just hand it to every single person that they completed work for. And now they're gonna get a bunch more reviews with AI automatically responding to them. Look, if you wanna see me build this entire agency from scratch, you can check out this video next.